Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, dear viewers, this is Abdullah Ashab presenting to you from New York. Alhamdulillah. Today's video, for today's video, I will recite Laylatul Qadr because Ramadan is coming soon and Surah Laylatul Qadr is linked with Surah Surah Laylatul Qadr is linked with Ramadan because the last 10 days of Ramadan are called Laylatul Qadr and after that I will talk about Ramadan as my uncle has suggested in the comment section below to make a video about Ramadan talking about it hope you guys get the best understanding from the video and inshallah I will get started أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما ربهم من كل عام سلام حيا الدام الله الحمد لله. So I want to talk about the surah, the background knowledge, everything. I'll inform you. Now this surah is called Laylatul Qadr because it represents Laylatul Qadr. How beautiful, how good this month is. And this month is a better, this is month, this month is better, I mean these 10 days are better than 83 years. Allahu Akbar. The reward is multiply hugely hugely let's say you spent uh, on an amount of money for charity and then you give the uh, the people in need let's say one dollar I'm just you, I know you guys do give more. I'm just giving an example. So let's say you gave out one dollar to charity. That reward of, would be as much as 83 years of that same deed. Allahu Akbar. But in those 10 days, we don't know which one is the actual Laylatul Qabr. Because those last days that there was a day where this day would take place but Allah did not tell us because on the day Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam was about to spread the news was uh, going out to tell the news he saw two people fighting and Allah get ang got angry and decided not to say the uh, give the answer on which day it was so in any of those 10 days it could be the best day the whole year and it's better than 83 years Allahu Akbar. 
That's a huge number. 83 years. Some people don't even live up to 83 years. But if you even died during that period, your, your reward was done, you will be still reaping those rewards in your cover, in your grave. Look at how powerful that day is. But we should pay special atten attention to those 10 days and give it our best. Give it our best. Pray to Rawi. You know, all those good stuff. Encourage your kids to fast. It's a really important skill. If they don't build the endurance right now, uh, they'll have a hard time. When they grow a little uh, older. And also make them pray their Darawih if you're at home or if it's possible. You don't have to push them way too much, just push them. And inshallah, let's hope they pray. And this Darawih will be very good for them. They have to build a tendency to pray their tarawih. So when uh, they grow up, they pray as well. Alhamdulillah. And there are a lot of stuff I could say. But I want to keep it minimal. And I also want to give an honorable mention to Rifat Baya from Bangladesh for supporting me so much. He has supported me immensely. And all those subscribers, maybe even you, the, uh, he might have uh, helped you find me. Let's... I just wanted to give him an honorable mention. He's a, he's a very hardworking person. May Allah bless him. He might be the only reason you're watching. Right now. Keep up the good work, Rifat Bayya. Thank you. So back to Ramadan. In those last 10 days, we actually don't know which of those 10 days is like the actual Laylatul Qadr. So we should pay special attention to those 10 days so maybe one day just maybe you you have uh, done a, hu a huge de a good deed and that deed is multiplied and may allah you know bless us with the mercy of his and also the reason of Ramadan here is not to f feel what the poor feel, but it's also a nice concept. You could also think of, about it that way. No problem. If you like it, you could. But we have to remember that this is so we don't stay attached to this world, this temporary world. Because... This world will end one day. You have to acknowledge that. All this wealth, this house, this family, this car, everything. You're not going to take it to your cover. It's, it's just for this world. It's temporary. And here, since we are deprived of our food, we actually see the blessings of Allah. The blessings we could eat, we could drink, we could breathe fresh air. That's that's what Allah opens our eyes up to while we fast. You're more satisfied because since you're deprived, the only, mo mostly the thing you mostly think about is food. You want it, you're hungry, that pushes you back. But also, since Allah is the one who's going to help you uh, endure through that time. That's going to also strengthen your iman. So be dependent on Allah. Do the most you can. Be dependent on Allah. 
and he will guide you. Make this path of fasting easier. Alhamdulillah. And that's all I have to say for Ramadan. Inshallah, I will see you next time. And until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.